Uh, five months and counting, that is how long Alabama, Alabama Republican Senator Tommy Tuberville has been blocking several hundred military nominations over the Pentagon's abortion policy. And that number is growing. Neither side is backing down, and there is no end in sight. Capitol Hill correspondent Eric Rosales continues to cover this story and has the latest for us now. Eric. Good evening, Tracy. You know, the number of holds will exceed 350 by the time the Senate returns to session after Labor Day. Three service branch heads and a new Joint Chiefs chairman await confirmation. Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin insists that the holds are harming the military and must stop. This is unprecedented. It is unnecessary and it is unsafe. And this sweeping hold is undermining America's military readiness. Not so, says Senator Tuberville's office. Staff released information showing senators, including Democrats, have held up or even threatened to block military nominations more than a half a dozen times since the 1990s. Since March, the Pentagon has been offering service members time off to have abortions and pay travel expenses. Senator Tuberville has been telling me there's an easy fix. Change the policy back because it's an unlawful policy. Change it back to what it was for the last 40 years. And then whatever the Pentagon and the Democrats want, bring it to the floor and let's vote on it. If it passes, it passes. If it doesn't, we stay with the past policy. It's that simple. Just this week, a Pentagon spokeswoman doubled down on their opposition to the Alabama Republican. No, we're not going to change our policy on ensuring that Every single service member has equitable access to, to reproductive health care. The department does not have an abortion policy. We have, um, we have a health care policy and we have a travel policy that allows for our service members to take advantage of health care that should be accessible to them. Senator Tumberville tells me the majority of Americans don't want their taxpayer dollars being used to fund abortions and Democrats want to get around the Dobbs decision any way they can. But they could care less. They're trying to push this agenda down our throat. They might get a lot of stuff done, but they don't get this done. Uh, they're going to have to run through me, not over me. Senator Tuberville tells me that it's up to Majority Leader Chuck Schumer to allow confirmation votes on the Senate floor, a process that would take about three hours each. But floor time will be in short supply come September as Congress tries to avoid a government shutdown. I'll stay on top of the issue at the Capitol. Eric Rosales, EWTN News Nightly.